Hello everyone and welcome to your mat. Welcome to this mini yoga practice that is meant to realign, reconnect you, reboot your body, your mind, um, yeah, from inside out. Um, my name is Marina. I've been teaching yoga for over a decade and what brings me to my practice over and over is that ability to reconnect with myself and reconnect with life itself uh, through breath, through movement, and our mind, our attention, right? So I wanna welcome you here and I'll invite you to set up your space in your house, um, maybe light up some incense, roll out your yoga mats, and take this moment for yourself to really connect, ground, set your intention of why you're embarking on this journey, why you're showing up today on your mat, what is needed for you. So tap into your intention. What is present? What is the desire? What is your body yearning for? And take a minute to find your breath. Feel the earth supporting you underneath your sitting bones. Feel your spine nice and tall. With each inhalation lengthening. With each exhalation, letting go, softening, surrendering. Again, each breath in brings you into that present moment. Every breath out, letting go, whatever is no longer needed here. One more breath. Bring your hands to your heart or onto your heart, whatever feels better. And take a moment to connect with your intention in this moment. What is present right here, right now? And what are you inviting into your day, into your mind, your heart? Thank you. We'll begin with a breathing technique. That is, it's an alternate nostril breathing and it's called Anulom Vilom. So it's really meant to balance out your left and right hemispheres of your brain. It also decreases stress, anxiety. Um, you're gonna sleep a lot better just recalibrates your nervous system, uh, brings you into a deeper state of relaxation, as well as um, that present moment. All right, so I'll invite you to bring your left hand. Um, you can hold it, you can hold your elbow if you like. And uh, I'm gonna bring the three middle fingers together and you're gonna use the thumb and the little pinky here to block out one nostril. So we're going to start by blocking off the right. Exhale through the left. And then inhaling through the left. Gently blocking that one. Exhaling through the right. Inhale right. Block it off, exhale through the left. Inhaling, same side, left. Block, exhale, other side. Keep on going gently. 
from one side. Transitioning to the other. Notice the turning points between your inhalation as it turns into the exhalation. Vice versa, your exhalation turning into the next inhalation. Noticing the breath as it moves from side to side. Maintaining a nice long back. Relaxed face. Let go of any facial expression. Relaxing the forehead, the cheeks, your mouth. Noticing the breath moving from side to side. Keep going. Gonna do one more breath, one more cycle. I'll invite you to finish the cycle by exhaling onto the left side. And then simply drop your hands onto your knees, returning to your regular breath, noticing the effects the benefits of the breath and how your body is feeling right now. Make sure that your back is really nice and tall, sitting bones on the floor, lengthening through the crown of your head. Imagine this imaginary thread pulling you up. Inhale, arm goes up. Exhale to the side. Relax the shoulder, turn your head up a little bit and press into your sitting bone. Same side as the arm, breathing. Inhale up and switch sides. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, folding. Maintaining again the sitting bone connection to the floor relaxing the shoulder away from the ear, lengthening and breathing. Notice the quality of letting go and yet remaining intentional with your movement, with the breath. Inhale up. One more, inhale. Exhale, fold. This time I want you to look upwards a little bit, open up towards the ceiling, exhaling, twisting towards the floor, pulling away through your fingertips. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, towards the floor. Inhale, lift and rise. Exhale. Other side, we inhale, exhale, fold. And again, upwards, opening, up towards the ceiling, shoulder away from the ear, exhale, towards the floor, pulling away through the fingertips. Inhale, opening up. So you wanna get the lateral movement here. Exhale, to the side, and down. Inhale, lift, and release. Roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. Inhale again, same arm. Lengthen all the way up. 
As you exhale, hand to your opposite knee and twist all the way back. Head turns back last. Shoulders away from the ears. Again, lengthening through the crown of the head. One more breath in. And come out. Waking up that spine. Inhale, up, other arm. Exhale, hand to your opposite knee and twist. Lower back, mid back, head all the way back. Notice the progression of the twist through your spine. From ground all the way up. Exhaling, coming back out. Great, roll the shoulders back. And from here, let's come into a tabletop position. Hands and knees. If you need extra padding for your knees, go ahead and do that. So just like a tabletop, your hands are right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. As you inhale, slowly drop the belly, look up. As you exhale, press into your hands and round your back. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, round. I'll invite you to keep your eyes closed for this one. So you can go inwards a little more. And really following the breath and the natural movement of your spine. Pressing into your hands a little more, exaggerating the curve. Feel your breath. And then let's add the little snaky movement from side to side. So you're twisting your spine, moving it like a snake from side to side. Again, getting into those ribs. Feel the hips, the shoulders. Great. Maybe circular movements here, just like a circle. Spine goes to one side, exhaling, rounding, other side. Wake up that back of yours. Be curious, notice what areas are more alive, what areas are a little more dormant. Breathe into them. Bring love, compassion, attention, and care to your body. Wonderful. You can also take those circles back a little towards your heels to wake up the hips. Breathe in. Notice how there is that connection throughout your entire body from your hips, lower back, that can affect your upper back and neck, sides, how interconnected everything is. Let's curl the toes behind, spread your fingers wide, 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 press the hands into the floor, and take your hips all the way up into a downward dog and walk it out. Left, right, maybe shake your head out. Again, notice how every movement, every micro movement affects your body. Keep on breathing here. Great. Inhale up onto your toes. Exhale down. 
From here, let's transition onto our backs. All the way down. Draw your knees into your chest and rock from side to side, massaging your back. You can keep a little space between your knees so your hips are starting to open. You can draw the knees closer in towards your shoulders. Drop your feet onto the floor. Wide distance between your feet, almost as wide as your mat. Open up your arms and just move your knees from side to side. And you can move your head into the opposite direction from your knees. Knees go right, head goes left. Knees to the left, head to the right. Create more space between your shoulders. Create space with your breath, the movement in the front of the body, your belly, digestive system. Breathing. Let's open up the hips a little more. I'll invite you to take your right foot and cross it right over your knee. Push that knee away from you. So the knee draws out. And you want to take your hands now through that hole and grab the back of your leg and draw it in towards you. And from here again, Pushing the knee out, pulling the other leg towards you. You should start feeling something in your hip, buttocks, leg. Close your eyes again, breathe a little deeper, and maybe rock from side to side. And relax your face. Relax your mouth, your jaw, your cheeks face, eyes, forehead. Breathe a little bit deeper. Breathe all the way into your hips. As your hips connect your legs to your spine. Again, that connection with your entire body from your legs, your feet, all the way up. and release. Again here, you may sway your knees from side to side to come back to neutral. And let's do the other hip. So again, crossing the foot, you can flex your foot a little bit. Foot over the knee, push the knee away from you, and then take your hands behind that leg, pull it in towards you. Chin towards the chest, relax the shoulders. Again, you may move a little bit from side to side. Feel your breath. What else can you let go of here? How can you drop into this a little deeper? Can you smile? You relax your face a little or a lot more. One more breath. And drop the foot down again, feet on the floor, sway the knees from side to side. Wonderful. Slide your tailbone out, forward a little more. Neutral, one more. Time knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug. If you like to lift up your head, you may do so. And release. I'll invite you into a final relaxation, a mini Shavasana. where you can allow yourself to fully surrender. 
let go and allow your body to receive feel life supporting you each breath each bite each movement you take trust that you're being supported guided trust that you are loved and offering that loving presence to every cell of your body. Take as much time as you need here. And as you get ready to come out, wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll on to the side. And as you rise back up to a seated pose, let's take another moment to finish the practice with gratitude. your intention and trusting life that you are loved, supported, and guided. Thank you. Namaste.